How's it going, guys? We're back again after so many amazing episodes. If you haven't seen those already, they're up on the channel, and I applaud you to do so. Just to get this out of the way, uh, as we have a new channel, and we're trying to push 500 subs, if you do enjoy today's content, comment, like, subscribe, and ring the post notification bell just below the video. And yeah, with all that out of the way, we're going to get into this right about now. Can't wait to crack on every episode. I don't want to spoil anything, but the past couple of episodes have been absolutely amazing. Loving this game thoroughly. Everything about it is just a very, very well-made, fun, enjoyable, amazing little title. And <laughs> it's going to be so sad when I finish and I have to wait for the third part or fourth part or fifth part. However many sections or parts they're doing to this game. I just pray that one day they do do sort of like a premium collection with every single part combined into one. Gonna use this bench here and make sure we're fully healed up and stuff. But they do like, um, how can I say it? Like, uh, because obviously the combat in this is a lot better than the last game. So it'd be nice if they sort of transferred over the fully refined finished content and combat systems from the final release oh these are pretty hard to kill it's sort of a, a full all-in-one experience with one launcher that could be pretty goddamn cool you know i've just realized as well we don't have asset uh, assess we don't have the assessor uh, on these characters so i got something just for you i'm gonna overcharge here what the hell has he got bullets in his gun? Does he have to reload that? He never had bullets in the last game, did he? I'm really happy that there's some dedicated sections for different characters as well. Wow, that stagger meter went up so quick once you used that ability. Um, yeah. So, anyone who's just tuned in for the first time. And play this on the PlayStation 5 with 45p performance mod and um, recording it direct. So, this is exactly how, how I play the game and how I see the game. Been no sort of tweaks, edits, or anything done to the color or sharpness or anything of the game. So, it is a true representation of what the game would look like if you were playing it on the PS5. Um. So far, everything that I've done has been phenomenal. It's just been such a an interesting game to play. The combat is such a step up on the original. And if you're on the fence about purchasing this game, I would just throw caution to the wind and uh, give it a shot. Now, when we actually got separated uh, earlier on in the last episode, and we dropped down, we were told to break all these crystals with Barrett's gun. And for some reason, it's actually showing uh, pointers to them. Now, I don't know why we have to destroy these or if they drop any secret items. But we are going to make our way around and just see what actually happens when we take them all out. Easy stagger. Abilities. Maximum fury. Boom. Wow, that's sick. So I think the ammo system, I think the ammo system only applies when you go to, when you go to bonus round. Um, should we do a summon just for the crack? I don't think there's any point really, but <laughs> we might as well just just for the. Just for the production value. Chocobo! Ow! <laughs> Let's see what the Chocobo does. He's not doing anything, is he? He's just sitting there. <laughs> Build up a meter and see what abilities he's got. Chocobo kick Moogle blast. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> So troll. Now let's see what the other ability does. Uh, Chocobo kick. Okay. 
pretty good actually. Helps to stagger it anyway. It's interesting um, how, how the difficulty varies on different mobs and stuff like that. Some are very easy to set down, others are quite difficult like that one. Um, I don't know if that's a dynamic difficulty thing or it's just like that across the board. I don't know why it keeps directing me over to these. There must be something hidden inside them. Oh, okay. So it's like mining for materials and stuff. Oh. Nice. So for the sake of this playthrough, I am just playing it through the main story. Uh, for time constraints, but obviously we want it. I'm going to be doing the side quests and stuff like that. And all the secrets at 100% in the game. I may do that in future videos, but just for the sake of this series, I just felt it was kind of better um, if I just did keep it to the main story. As I've no idea how long this game is or how big it is, but I'm guessing um, it is a pretty big game. Oh, Thunder does a lot of damage to these, eh? Do another thunder on him. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. That what the hell? He must be weak to it. Um, I'm just trying to figure out here which way we go. Is it down here? A little bit confused there on where we go. Must be down this way. I've noticed some of the reviewers um, commenting on like the little hop that some of the characters do when they're jumping over stuff. And they're not re very happy with it. <laughs> um, I think if you don't like... If, if nobody had mentioned it to me, I don't think I would have noticed, to be fair. Um... So we must just be blowing these away just to get obviously past and maybe get a couple of uh, bits of R and stuff. Oh, materia, let's go. Uh, orb of MP up. Interesting. This is looking like another bit of a dead end here. A little bit confused on where I actually need to go here. So it's saying, escape the depths. So what's this? Climbers. We've got all this over here, so we must have to go. We'll follow that round. Yeah, a lot of people are been moaning about the Barrett climbing animation, but at the end of the day, he's got a gun on one arm <laughs> and a hand on the other, so it's not like it's his fault that he climbs like that, but... I mean, I think sometimes people over scrutinize stuff. I think I think if a game's fun and well made, that should be enough for people, really. But you're always going to get somebody that's not very happy. You always get somebody that's upset with something, don't you? I mean, it's just the way of the world these days. We cancel culture and wokeness and all the rest of it. it is what it is. Um, let's climb up here. So as you can see, he's doing the the old one arm hop. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not like it breaks immersion or ruins the game, is it? Oh, can we get across here? Maybe we can go down a little bit. Got some loot and stuff. Oh, nice. Quite a lot of few bits on there, actually. Don't really want to be falling off the ledge, though. That would be bad. Let's go back across here. And continue our climb so essentially what we're doing here we're trying to make our way back to cloud and the rest of the crew for some reason we all fell down the same hole what barrett got barrett and red got separated <laughs> i mean for story purposes it's you know it is what it is but it just seemed a bit daft only them two got separated but can we get through here don't look like we can does it so where on earth are we supposed to go? 
Can we climb up here? Ah, we can get over. Okay. Interesting. Let's see if there's any secrets here. Uh, we got some more materials. Nice. I'm going to be doing like little bits of guides and stuff on uh, the crafting and the other bits of bats. you got to remember there's a lot in this game. Uh, a lot of content. So, obviously for, for the playthrough for the channel, I'm pretty much covering um, the main storyline. Uh, which the main scenario but there's going to be a boatload of quests uh, side stuff intel Chadley development all sorts of stuff that we're going to be covering later on but for my first playthrough I simply just want to focus on the main story um, there's a lot of content but essentially I'm going to be doing multiple playthroughs uh, they'll obviously want to do it on the harder difficulty mode I really don't have a clue where I'm going here We're supposed to go up there, or? I'm a little bit lost, actually. Let's have a little look around here, see if we can... We're supposed to jump off, or? Doesn't look like it, does it? I think we were right the first time to go up. We must just be missing something. Um, well, there must be like another wall that I can climb up or something. Have a look. Go way up here. Can we get up there? Ah, trickery. Looks like we can after all. We just had to open our eyes. Here we go. Rock climbing extraordinaire, Barrett. Let's go, baby. Right, here we go. Excavation site. So it's looking like we're back up now. Check on this monster here. Go! The music, as always, is just top notch. Really, really good. The battle music's just phenomenal. Right, let's go. Um, let's do bonus round. Getting staggered. Damn, that hurts. Heal up. Uh, spell, cure. Obviously, we want to be using our cure spell um, as much as possible. Obviously, the more the more you use an ability, the more it will level up. So you want to be using your cure spell as much as possible. Later on in the game, we are going to need that level 4 uh, heal on all of our characters. I discussed it in the last episode. Um, you want to check that out about the revival earrings in the, in the cure. And now I feel for, for, for anyone who's new to the game, it's probably the best way to play. Um, make life a little bit easier for yourselves. To feel free to check that out. Let's go. I'm actually wondering how many bosses are in this game. We fought like two or three pretty good bosses. Two main ones, I think. The Snake and uh, Reno's crew, the Turk. And they've both been really, really good fights, actually. Much, much better than majority of the stuff that's in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Not saying Final Fantasy Remake is necessarily bad, but in comparison to this, it's quite old. Uh, this is... I think people forget how long ago Final Fantasy VII Remake came out. I would love to see this combat ported over to it, either in a mod on the PC or in a future update. 
I think that would be phenomenal. If they could tweak it up. I think eventually they will release all three in one big package with updated uh, combat. From whatever the final release will be, I think that will happen. I, I have a strong feeling about it. It would make sense financially as well, because it's an incentive for them. For a financial update, hold on. Does this bit change the track? Hold on, what's going on here? I bet we've got to switch the track, haven't we? Oh shit, yeah, we did. Right, so there may be a secret up here, so what I'm going to do is push it forward first and then climb up. See if we can get this box up here. Yeah, nice. So there's a lot of little bits of exploration and stuff like that. So we've got a bulletproof vest, they're not cheap. Uh, we do need a couple of them for other characters. Whoa, what the hell? Just climb back up on his own. Right, so we're going to pull this back. Do the old switcheroo on the track. Hopefully we pushed it far enough back. There we go. We hadn't, but they accounted for people doing that. And actually made it so it would push the car back itself. Let's go. Up we go. Oh, nice. Whoa. Beastie dude, man. Oh, shit, you got me. Roll, roll. Um... Ooh, big damage. Let's try a spell here, see if he's uh Oh his thunder doesn't really do much to him. Let's see what fire does. Uh hold on. Tech controller red here. Holy shit, that's fucking big damage. We'll get two bars on red here. Let's see what we've got. So we've got biotic. It's like poison. Can really do an amazing thing there. Uh, Sidewinder, let's try. Boom, big damage. Oh, big stagger. Boom. Da -da -da. So it's even got reminiscent parts from the original Final Fantasy, like such as like your crew getting separated. So obviously if you've not prepared them with the correct material on the harder difficulties, this would be um, n near, nearly impossible. So when I do do my hardest mod playthrough, well now, look who I will need assess materia, different uh, spells and stuff like that set up. Oh great, we can't get across, can we? Taking a breather, or what? The bridge is out. Do you think you can give us a hand? Let me see. Oh. Ah. Interesting. Can we hit that? No. Nice. Right, so we've got two ladders here. Interesting. See what secrets are afoot. Do, 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 do. Oh. 
kiss my ass. Oh shit, he's got hold of me. So we've got another mine guy here as well. Red's combat's pretty interesting. Right, so we've got some materia through there. Um, right, so... Interesting. So let's push this through here then, shall we? So perhaps we need to push it down and dislodge the whatever the thing is over there. The box, the crate, or whatever. See if it'll go through here. We're walking like that's what we might have to do. I'm just wondering before we push forward, what is actually up there? Or is that where we came from initially? We'll carry on for now. So much I want to explore and do. It's looking like we're going to push this down here, switch the tracks and then go back the other way. But we'll just take it down here just in case there's any secrets. few bits and bats. Uh, blow up all these boxes. Check if there's anything there. Switch the tracks. I just want to thank anyone who's been watching from uh, episode one up to now. Uh, you know... People who view my videos is very important to me. And uh, I do put a lot of time and effort into these videos. And it, it'd be nice to get that 500, maybe 1,000 subs. It's very difficult these days to actually get sort of high viewership on YouTube. But it's not a business thing for me. It's more of a hobby, but I do enjoy doing it. Too grand, and don't you forget it, man. Now let's go back down here. I'm gonna see if we can get through. Oh, there's another secret. See, pace, look about. So, the biggest tips I can give at the moment always make sure heal up outside the battle. Even though I forget from time to time. Uh, it's very important. I don't think we can open it from here. See a button or a lever? One sec. Ah, so they're, they're going to open it for us. Cool. So, always scour about. Always heal before your next fight. We owe you. Um, make sure you've got a heal spell on each one of your team members. And preferably some revival earrings if you are new to the game. And don't go in and try and do it on the hardest difficulty your first time around. If you are struggling, drop it down. Do a playthrough on, say, whatever story mode or easy or whatever it may be. And then just go at it a second time. The game is designed for multiple playthroughs. It's not designed to be one and done in one go. I mean, you can one and done it on dynamic in one go, but you'll never get the true um, hard difficulty combat without it, indeed doing it a few times and then playing it through on hard. The hard mode is good because it takes everything that you know about the game, about countering, using the right element and stuff like that, and it's a real, real challenge. And each fight is like such a struggle, but in a good way. Um, 
and it is thoroughly enjoyable. It's not for everyone. Some people just like to do it on story mode, get it over with, and that's that. But um, I did find the hard mode a completely different challenge and experience in itself, and I would recommend anyone to try it out. Bloody hell, these bosses are coming thick and fast now. And they're so good. They're all so good. Like, look at this. Oh my god. Where's Rock Cranky Boy about to sleep? Damn. Right, let's get the mini golem. Can we, can we target the mini golem? Not looking like we can. Try and attack it from behind. We'll use, um. Bonus round. See, we have the assessment area here. We'd be in a lot better state. The head second a lot of damage, though. Get away from it. Run. Weapon ability mastered. Mastered the bonus round ability. There we go. So that's another thing. The more you use um, abilities, the more you use heals, the more you use anything in this game, it levels it up and you get better proficiency. So the stagger on this now is just mental. Like, it's just, it's completely um, a different experience. It's, it's stronger, it hits a lot harder. So when you get them staggered, you really want to be hitting them with everything you've got. We are going to try um, a spell here. If you look at the charge bar in the bottom left, I'm going to do a summon here, actually. So, the charge bar, most characters have a triangle attack of some kind. Whoa, what's going on? Holy shit, what is that? Damn, that, that hit hard. Right, time to heal up. Uh, we'll do Moogle Blast and we'll do... We'll do a Cure on Barrett. Just in time, I think that would have wiped us out, actually. Holy shit. Big damage. We need to build a bear TB again. In fact, let's see if Red can heal us. Um, mega Potion on Barrett. Here we go. There, we're back in. Uh, we're going to attack the head. Moogle Blast. Jesus. We're also going to use uh, Maximum Fury again on the head. Big drill attack. Nice. So now we've got it um, nearly pressured, actually. Right, we can do our overcharge. So when, whenever that triangle bar gets full, make sure you use that every time. There we go, it's staggered. So this is where we now go absolutely balls to the wall. Let's go, baby. Uh, we'll do bonus round and we'll do maximum fury I say this every episode but you do generate a lot more uh, ATB um, when they're in staggered state another thing that I forget to do and you will probably forget to do as well is make sure you're using all your party's abilities not just your own looks like we might have beat it oh it's looking like it's transforming Jesus. Damn, this keep it just shook it off. See what the Chocobo does here. Obviously, when summons leave, they do like a super ability. Me, me, me. Nice. Good work out there. So we are gonna have to heal up again here. Eh? 
Whoa, what the hell? Ah, we're going we're gonna to have to check out his spine. And get around the back of it here. It's looking like we run around the back. Can't get to his spine. Jesus, that damage. Shit, the bed. One thing I'm struggling with, oh, damn. Sometimes the lock on can be a bit finicky. So that I'm on the spine now. So we're gonna do uh, maximum fury here on the spine. Shit. Oh, we did dodge some of it. Not enough though. This is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, we're just about maintaining. Shit, that laser is bloody hard. Overcharge. Yeah, I'm gonna keep jumping out of the way. Ah! God, our health is so low. See if we can heal up here. Oh shit. This is not good at all. Are you still scared here? Shit! Right, red's on limit break. Uh, we'll do it on the spine. I don't think we're supposed to... Um, I don't... Oh, there we go. There we got the spine. So now what we're going to do is... We're going to use the... Oh, we're out of bloody MP. Barrett. Right, so we've got overcharge. We're back on just attacking its head there, but we've also got a limit break, so here we go. This one right here is for you. Oh my god, that damage. Shit. Jump out of the way. No, it hits. The fights are very good in this game. Shit. I am. We need to aim for the head again. Going to go into Avengers mode here. Why can't I aim at the head though? It's the only thing I've found negative about this game so far is sometimes it can be um, tricky to focus on like a body part. Let's go. See if we can get the pressure going again. With our bonus round. See if we 
you don't charge us up. Nice. Spells cure. Heal right up. Let's go for the head again. Shit, we're in trouble here. Uh, maximum fury on the head. Oh, big damage! Oh. We're going through pods like no man's business. There we go. Nice. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Maximum Fury. Bonus round. Overcharge. Let's go. Maximum Fury. Yes! Maximum Fury, just finish it off. Let's go, baby. Beautiful. That's a mighty fine staircase. Thank you kindly. Let's go, baby. That was pretty goddamn hard, actually. Um, Ether, Barrett. We have to use this heal as much as possible to get ourselves back in good shape. But in actual fact, I think there's a bench up here, but if we bump into anyone in the meantime, it's going to be problematic. Is there anything else in here that we can loot? Seems to be like two ways of going. Is this a different... Oh yeah, we've got the bench back here we've gone to. Um, so we'll heal up, but we're obviously going to have to try and grab some portions and stuff as well. It's like the heal ability you want to be using as much as possible, but the thing is, sometimes you haven't got the ATB to use heal, so that's where your potions do come in handy. Um, so we've got healing materia. Um, we've got two fire, two ice, two wind. We'll get another fire. Another lightning. Another wind. Um, we'll get an assess materia here as well. We'll also get a steel materia. Which will come in very, very handy. Like I said... Um, these are tools that you won't have on your character if you do split up. It's kind of nice that they put a shop there. It's pretty handy, actually. We've got lightning, healing, HP up. So we're going to go with... Um, let's have a look. So we're going to give him a fire, lightning, heal, and assess. Materia. That's good. And we'll give Red. He's got poison. Give Red a heal and a lightning. There you go. Kick it up. Go, baby. Um, which way was it now? It was up here, right? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, we got some more stuff here. Oh. Moogle medal. Always nice to see. Some more little bits and bats that we can sort of have a look around. Another box. Let's see what this does. 
we bought this? The gate is already open. Okay. Um. So, which way do we actually go now? Is it up here? Oh, yeah, we're back with the group. Fantastic. Let's have a quick look over here. Oh, sugar. No. Let's not go that way. <laughs> we're going out of bounds, which is not good. Uh oh. Hey. What took you? Stumbled on the killer rock formation and couldn't tear ourselves away. Right? <laughs> the ground here could give way at any moment. We shouldn't linger. True. But don't forget, Shimmer knows we're here now. Maybe more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. I ain't stopping. Not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. Whoa. We all know what's at stake here. The fate of the world. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Nice. So, party selection unlocked again, so we can now pick... Uh, hand pick our party once more. It's always good. Um, I did enjoy that section with Barrett, though. I thought it was kind of kind of nice, actually. Wasn't too long. A uh, little bit different. It's got a good pace to it, this game. Here we go. So let's just see. Holy shit. I think these guys... Yeah, you've got a perfect time you block, I think. We are going to assess them just so we know what we're working with. So the weak to fire. Which means we use our firebolt blade. And as you saw there, it come up with weakness. Um, going to go back in again. Now we're going to go through our crew. And just have a look. So we've got a fire on cloud here. Super effective. Come part of the way. It's a little bit dark here. Yeah, fireball bled again. Weak to the fire. There we go. And we're also going to use fireball bled again. Beautiful. And we leveled up mid fight. Beautiful. Fireball bled again. We keep this air combo going. We got knocked back, which is a shame. Block the attack. So, two things so far that I don't like about the game. Isolated body parts can be very, very difficult. And sometimes the camera... Um, oh my god, that fire spell. Um, sometimes the camera can bug out and you miss out on some of the nice things that are going on. Because you're walking to like a corner like this or something and the camera will just like skew into the wall. Uh, it can get a little bit annoying, but I mean, no game's perfect. Um, it, it is annoying in some parts. It doesn't happen too often, but often enough that I would deem it a problem. Uh, maybe they could patch it down the road. Here we go. We'll do a triple slash. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh God, that was quick. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Got some more materials here. Uh, for anyone that's new to the series, we have this thing called the item uh, transmuter. Um, so we can get stuff like um, Echo Mist, um... Which heals the entire party. Um, the higher your rank goes when you're making stuff, like you can make gear 
Um, there's all sorts of things eventually that you'll be able to make. So these we need craftsmanship level four. Um, so we'll probably make some of these. And as you can see, as you make stuff, we unlock better stuff to make. So this is what I'm saying about the multiple playthroughs. I mean, it's going to be advantageous to unlock all of the secret items as you move forward through the game. But it's definitely got some replayability there. Um, especially with the side quests and the gear making and whatnot. These hooded guys are very intriguing to me. I really want to know their backstory properly. I guess so. He ain't coming back. I don't know if they were failed projects of the Genova project or if the part of Sephiroth or the part of the planet. I, I just don't know. Shunar. Shinra territory. Come on. Intel on June on Summon Entity Phoenix, new Summon Entity is available in the Combat Simulator. Fantastic. So the Combat Simulator, for anyone that doesn't know, is uh, it's a cyborg called Chadley. And basically what you do is you do VR missions for him. And when you do the VR combat, he rewards you by giving you the materia to summon these new monsters. Um, so we can indeed now get the Phoenix, which we will probably work towards in the next episode. Look at this. Look at this view, guys. Or at least none that I'm aware of. Absolutely magnificent. And do you know what? It's such a beautiful scene. Agreed. And we have just cleared the mine. So I think we'll call this episode. And like I've said before now, up, uh 96%, I think. I think it's roughly 96% of my viewers are not currently subscribed. And we'd love to have you as part of the channel so do consider subscribing if you are enjoying the series and as always comment like subscribe ring the post notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching